is alarming new research on the brain altering impact of football. New evidence shows with almost 100% certainty that NFL college and even high school players are at risk of brain disease. But some of the numbers may be skewed. Ken McLeod is live at a football field in Brighton with more tonight. Ken? David skewed because all of the brains studied were submitted by players or the families of players who already suspected brain damage. So the sample isn't random or it isn't even a cross section. However, as young players prepare to take to this field next month, the chief researcher says this study erases any doubt of a link. You know, I got all of my concussions doing normal football techniques, movements I was taught. Former Patriot linebacker Ted Johnson still works out, but fears his decade-long NFL career is slowly destroying his brain. You try not to think about it. A lot of people ask me, did you see that movie Concussion? It's like, no, I don't need to see it. I kind of know what it's all about. Indeed, a study published today confirms what many have long suspected, a link between the battering sustained by a football player's head and chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE, an abnormal protein that damages and eventually destroys brain tissue causing depression memory loss and dementia oh I think they're scary numbers I think they're very frightening numbers dr. Ann McKee of the BU med school studied the donated brains of more than 200 football players and found CTE in all but one NFL veteran all but five college players and even in 21 percent of those who only played in high school what it says to us is we need to address these youth sports understand how much, uh, how many impacts is too many. Uh, should they consider starting to play at a, at a later, more mature age? We think they should. I think it's going to be a game changer. I really do. The NFL, though, may be harder to convince, even though it has already reached a billion dollar settlement with a bunch of former players and has pledged a hundred million more for research. But it's inherently a dangerous game. Which is why Dr. McKee wants to focus on youngsters. So if we can identify it early in those young players that just have the very minimal changes, we would have a real shot at curing the disease. But right now, there is no way to even diagnose CTE while the patients are still alive. It can only be done uh, on the brain after death. Live in Brighton tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.